You now have Unity Hub. You have Unity 2018.2.8 installed. Now you need to install the base project. The base project is essentially all the assets and all the code of the OPCD tools that you need to build your course inside of Unity. So let's talk about how we install that. So let me get out of this full screen here. And if you recall, you got that email after you registered. You need to go in there and you see this um, note for the base project download. Maybe your email looks a little bit different from mine, but you're gonna click on this link right here and it's going to open up a Google Drive folder for you. And in that Google Drive folder will be the latest GSP base project V4. And in this case, it is the 2023 May 29th version, which was released actually yesterday. This is 5.2 gigs or 5.1 gig. You're going to download this. Click on download. Download anyway. It's so big it can't be scanned for viruses. And then it's going to begin downloading. I'm going to pause the video. This is going to take a little bit. So that large file is done downloading. So I'm going to go into my downloads folder, which you see right here. And I can see in my GSP base project, which is uh, boy, 5.3 gig. I'm going to right click on it. And I'm going to hit extract all. And we're going to get a pop up here, which looks like this. This is act, act, <laughs> asking us where we want to extract these files to. So I'm going to browse. And if you recall, I did a video in the beginning about your project file and your structure of that. I'm going to browse to my OPCD folders, which I know is on my D drive. So on my D drive, I've got my OPCD projects folder. Which I advise you to create. And then in here, I've got two projects I'm working on. I got Hershey Country Club and Kapalua. I'm going to open up Hershey Country Club. Um, so I'm going to extract this into the Hershey Country Club folder. Now you'll notice in here, I already have some other things because I've been working on this, but um, we're going to extract it into the Hershey Country Club folder. And I'm going to hit select folder and then extract. And this will take a little bit because we are extracting five, over five gig. It might take about you know, anywhere between, depending on the speed of your computer, five, 15, maybe even 20 minutes. So now that that has been extracted, let's go into our OPCD projects folder, which we made earlier. And if I go into my course folder, in this case, Hershey Country Club, I can see here is the name of that folder that was extracted from that zip file. And if we go inside here, you can see there are a bunch of folders and files that are associated with our Unity project, okay? Um, these are all the things that Unity will need to open up our project. However, let's go back up and we're gonna rename this folder. In this case, I'm going to click on it once and I'm gonna name this HCC underscore Unity, enter. Now, once we do that, we are ready to open up our project inside of Unity. One little addendum there, a good practice also is when you rename this, and I'm gonna show you how to do this right now, instead of HCC underscore Unity, I'm also gonna put underscore and then the name of the date of the file. So this is 2023 underscore 05 underscore 29. That way, as you're working on this, if uh, anyone uh, in the Discord asks you what version of the base project you're working on, you can tell them this number and it doesn't get lost. Okay, so this is just the extension of the base project here. So I just need the name of my course, underscore Unity, underscore the date that this Unity base project were, was released. Uh, when you're watching this video, you might have a newer version in here. Actually, most likely you will have a newer version. Now to open up this project in Unity, we're going to start Unity Hub. And if this is your first time, you might not have any of these other projects in here because I have several projects I'm working on. You're gonna, this is gonna be empty for you. You're gonna come up here to open, add project from disk. At that point, you're going to browse to your OPCD projects folder for me, which is on my D, D drive, OPCD projects. 
uh, Hershey Country Club. And then here is that folder that we just created with all of our Unity based project files. I'm just going to highlight that, hit Add Project, and you can see that it ends up here on the top of my list. Now, what I'm going to try to do is open this up. However, I have a feeling it's going to open up in another window, so you're not going to be able to see this. So let me see if I can get this going. Um, it is extracting in another window, which you can't see at the moment. And I get my terms and agreement window. So this OPCD project is provided free of charge exclusively to those building golf courses for GS Pro for non-commercial use. Remember, if you're, if you're doing this just for your personal use, that's fine. But if you're doing this for pay, if you're getting making a profit from this, um, you need to reach out on the Discord to uh, John Meyer, to uh, DP Roberts or Sting and talk about getting and how to obtain a license. Um, but by agreeing to this, you agree that you're not going to use this for commercial use. So I'm going to hit agree. And at that point, you're going to spend, it's going to spend a couple minutes extracting all these files. Um, and you can see, hopefully I can drag this over, but I can't because it's keeping me busy. My computer is very busy now. Um, but it is, oh, here we go. It'll open this up. And we now have our base file or our base Unity project open into what we call the sample scene. So at this point, you've got Unity all set up. Um, you should go up here to the console, make sure you don't have any errors in here. So this is completely clean. Um, and this is the sample scene. Uh, more on this, actually, maybe more on this in another video. But at this point, you've installed Unity, you've installed the base project, and on to the next video.